Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Merry Christmas to everyone. I hope that you have a great time and that you can celebrate uh, your Christmas with all your beloved family and friends wherever you are in the world. We are going to have a quick look into the Bitcoin price of course but also I want that you can enjoy a little bit of this nice uh, footage from here this nice view over the Swiss Alps and mountains here we have a lot of snow and of course we are enjoying our Christmas time here but later on also we'll move on to uh, Zurich back to Zurich of course so we are going to have a quick look to the Bitcoin price guys uh, because nothing much is happening as expected the Christmas holidays are very quiet maybe in some altcoins we are seeing some volatility but uh, over on Bitcoin in my opinion we're just going sideways and um, maybe if we get a bit, a bit of volatility it is possible that we will get it also to the downside but also to the upside everything is possible but I don't expect too much volatility uh, only once the traditional markets are starting to trade again and then maybe um, we could see also here uh, another big move because um, in the lower time frames like in the four hour here you can see that we dropped down to the bottom line of the countless channels so far nothing bad has happened even though we had this little um, drop here in the daily time frame all the way came down to the 9 daily and 20 daily moving average we are approaching now the median line of the Keltner channels at around um, uh, let me quickly uh, deny this uh, call I will call later on of course uh, today everyone is texting of course for Christmas which is of course also okay but we have to bring this video out since later on we will be traveling but here in the daily you can see that we are again moving towards the um, the median line of the Keltner channels at around 43k. Important is that we have the daily closes above because if we would drop below, then of course the next major support would be at around 41 to 40 thousand dollars, the bottom line of the Keltner channel. So we have to keep a very close eye here into the daily time frame. Of course, I'm always updating you. That's why you are subscribed here. And here over in the weekly time frame. This is like the most uh, bearish signal that I'm seeing currently is uh, that of course uh, we, we didn't get that bullish engulfing candle here in the weekly. We closed last week below uh, the previous uh, closes and uh, here in theory we're still bullish because we are uh, trading at the top side of the Kelton channels in the weekly so above 41k. We only would start a major corrective phase potentially down towards the 30k area down here if we would see weekly closes below the top side of the Kelton channels which is at 41k until then the uptrend will continue and uh, also remember that um, over on the CME chart we closed on Friday at around $43,760 and right now we are trading uh, slightly below so most likely we're going to retrace towards that price level uh, as soon as the CMEs are starting to trade again otherwise we have a new uh, CME gap so let's wait and see what will happen in my opinion, we are overdue for a correction, but of course we still could see some leg ups to the upside. So we could see some uh, moves towards again the 45, 47, 50k area. But uh, as I told you guys, I think that we are more or less towards the end of this rally. And the Bitcoin is trading above 40k during Christmas, so nothing to complain about that. We had a very good rally. It is possible that we could see some more leg up. And of course, um, although the altcoins are doing great right now, we are seeing some, some explosive moves to the upside. Even though Ethereum, for example, is still lagging behind and here we still didn't see a breakout to the upside it is possible that over uh, over the next coming weeks maybe during January we could see some upside here but also here for Ethereum uh, since we didn't break out uh, above this resistance trend line and also Bitcoin in my opinion is overdue for a correction I think that um, maybe we're more towards the end of this rally we're in for a massive correction in my opinion and then we can top up again with more altcoins and more Bitcoin and so on and then of course uh, uh, ride it up um, towards new all-time highs once we have the Bitcoin halving taking place and remember that you can trade with the leverage over on Sumex currently uh, if you sign up to Sumex with the link in the video description you will get some extra bonus and you can also be part of future giveaways we have also a $100 Christmas giveaway running you just have to go to my channel and watch the last two videos because there uh, I explain you how to participate on that giveaway so guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thank you very much for watching and uh, happy Christmas time. Best regards from the here and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.